I just got this digital oscilloscope. It's the first oscilloscope I've ever used. I'm still learning how to use it, but I have it set up now where I can do a demonstration of this circuit. So what this circuit is, is an LC tank circuit. And what that means is there's a capacitor and an inductor connected in parallel. So what this uh, line going up and down means is that each time it goes up and down, the capacitor charged and discharged a little. So it's charging and discharging really rapidly. Down here it says, uh, it says about uh, 250 hertz, which means it's charging and discharging about 250 times. Now that's not fully charging and discharging. The voltage is going up and down about 250 times, up and down a little bit. And that's the uh, LC circuit when you put a capacitor and an inductor in parallel. So now we have one end of the resistor on the positive rail, the other end of the resistor connects to one end of both the capacitor and the inductor. This is a polarized capacitor. There's a gray stripe here. It's not showing up on the camera very well. But uh, that gray stripe with the little black dashes mean this side needs to be more negative at all times. And uh, so we got uh, one end here. The two components are connected together. Now the leads have different spacing. So I just connected a jumper wire to the other end of the inductor which comes to the negative rail where is the uh, negative side of the capacitor is already connected. So these two components are in parallel as far as conduction is concerned. So now a quick explanation of what this circuit is doing is uh, we're going to talk about conventional current now. That's when you look at it as positive going to negative. So uh, we apply the battery to the rail current flows through the resistor to this point and so one end of both of the components are connected here so at first the capacitor is going to charge because capacitors they accept a change of current really easily when there's a, a voltage difference but when you put a voltage difference across an inductor at first it resists the change in current so current flows easily into the capacitor and it charges up a bit now at some point though, the inductor is going to give in and be conducting. And the capacitor will discharge through the inductor. Now this is just a little bit, but it discharges a little bit and uh, it reaches a point where the inductor even helps push current out a little bit and the capacitor gets a little lower than it uh, likes to be and starts accepting current easily and at that point too the inductor just spit out uh, current and so now it's resisting and it bounces back and forth they take turns accepting and resisting current so when one's accepting easily the other one's resisting and vice versa and it just keeps bouncing back and forth and you get an oscillation and it's just a small change in voltage it depends on the size of the inductor and the capacitor.